Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about some important softwares, tools that is going to be help in research methodologies for different, different subject specific research data analysis. These softwares like SPSS, MATLAB, R, Weka, Python, SAS, AMOS and Power BI and other certain tools that may help you for your data analysis purpose right so if we talk about spss that is statistical package for social sciences so spss is a widely used software package for statistical analysis so if in your subject you do need statistical analysis you can use the software tool named spss it provides range of tools for data management, for descriptive statistics, for inferential statistics and for data visualization. It means that from raw data, these tools is going to help you for making your data more understandable, more visualizely understandable to the public, right? So you can use it, right? The next one is MATLAB. MATLAB is a programming language and environment which is designed for numerical computation, visualization and programming. It is commonly used in engineering and scientific research for the tasks such as data analysis, modeling and simulation. So if you are pursuing engineering scientific research, this tool the name is MATLAB might be helpful for you because there are very important numeric compu numerical computations that we need to perform and visualization with the help of programming we need to perform right now the next one is R R is a programming language and software environment for statistical computing and graphics Basically, it provides a wide range of statistical and graphical techniques and it is highly extensible through packages developed by the R community. So if you are having subject specific to the statistical computing and graphics, definitely R programming is going to helpful for you and its packages and community is definitely going to make important impact in your research. Weka. The next one is Weka. It is a collection of machine learning algorithms. Collection of machine learning algorithms, which is implemented in Java. It provides GUI, that is graphical user interface and set of tools for data pre-processing, classification, regression, clustering and visualization. So basically how to clean the raw data right how to make it efficient for the next processes how to clean the data that all are a part of pre-processing so for data pre-processing you can use it for classification so if you are having some problems where you need to classify the objects it can be anything you need to classify whether your mail is spam or not so spam or not spam this is called as classification kind of so in such kind of things you may have to use this kind of tool which is completely consisted of different different ml algorithms implemented in java thereafter the regression basically it categorizes the data right so if you are having some data between let's say land in acres and price in dollar so this regression algorithm is going to fit a kind of clustering thing kind of uh, categorizable thing so if you are having any particular land in terms of area in terms of any particular acre it is going to make you what price it could have right depends on urban semi-urban rural area it can fit the data regression categorize the data for clustering 
and for visualization you if you want to make your data to understand it visually with the help of graphics to understand your data more efficiently so this tool can help you thereafter python it is a versatile programming language widely used in various domains including data analysis it offers numerous libraries and frameworks such as numpy for numerical computations pandas and scikit-learn for model developments and that makes it suitable for tasks like data manipulation statistical analysis machine learning and data visualization right so python can help you a lot nowadays then we have one more tool named SAS that is a statistical analysis system. SAS is a software suite used for advanced analytics, business intelligence and data management. It offers a comprehensive range of tools for data manipulation, statistical analysis and predictive modeling and data visualization. So for this purpose, you can utilize this tool. And then we have one more tool named AMOS that is analysis of movement structure. AMOS is a software tool used for structural equation modeling, SEM, structural equation modeling. It provides graphical interface for specifying and estimating complex models that involves latent variables and observed variables. So, this tool will help you here. And then we have Power BI. It is a business analytical tool developed by Microsoft. It allows users to create interactive visualization, reports, and dashboard from various data sources. It provides tools for data modeling, data transformation, and data visualization. For, so for this purpose, you can use Power BI tool. So we have discussed a lot and lot of tool. Apart from it, we are having some specific tools like eViews. eViews is a statistical software package specifically designed for time series analysis and econometrics. Stata is a statistical software package that provides a comprehensive sort of tools for data analysis, including time series and panel analysis. GRETL, Gretel, right? It is an open source software package for econometric analysis. It offers tools for time series analysis, panel data analysis, and other econometric techniques. Right? So basically, this choice of software tool completely depends on specific requirement of analysis and the familiarity and expertise of the user. Different tools have different, different features and different, different capabilities. So it is very important to choose the tool that best suits the need of your subject faculty. Means regarding your specific domain, you need to choose the software accurately and analyze being performed, right? So this we have discussed here about software and contemporary issues and subjects regarding software tools. So for more such lectures, please subscribe. Stay tuned. Have a nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat. Yeah, yeah.